understanding espresso. Espresso is derived from the Italian word for express, which is essentially what espresso is, a coffee that is made quickly and served immediately to the guest. This type of coffee is brewed by forcing hot water through finely ground coffee beans. This produces a sweet, thick, rich and smooth shot of espresso. Espresso should look thick and syrupy, like warm honey being poured from a spoon when it drips out of the portafilter, and it needs to be a rich, dark chocolate brown in colour. It should also always end with a crema, which is the thin, creamy, golden layer of foam that makes up 10 to 30% of what we understand as espresso. The measurements of an espresso need to be accurate in order to ensure the perfect espresso is achieved every time. Depending on the portafilter basket that your establishment uses, you may or may not need to measure the following out, as the baskets will set a guideline for you. However, it is still very important to know how many grams of ground coffee it takes to make a single and a double espresso. So, let's have a look at the following. A single espresso is made with between 7 and 9 grams of ground coffee, resulting in a single shot of 30 milliliters. A double espresso is made with between 14 and 18 grams of ground coffee, resulting in a double shot of 60 milliliters. The principle of consistency is key here. Whatever you do when dosing and tamping at your establishment must remain standard for all of the coffees that you make. Even getting it one or two grams off between coffees can completely change the flavor. So we need to be accurate and consistent in order to make the perfect espresso. Making a shot of espresso may seem simple and easy, but it is in fact somewhat complicated and can be quite complex at times. It's very easy to make a bad or average espresso, but it takes time, concentration and practice to make an excellent espresso. Espresso is the reason why people drink cappuccinos, why they drink lattes, americanos, mochas and macchiatos. It has very little to do with the taste of the milk and almost everything to do with the taste of the espresso. There are several important steps in pulling an espresso shot. It begins with the grinder and progresses to the dosing, tamping and water pressure. Set the grinder to the desired level of grind and grind only what you need for that specific order. A good extraction is characterized by a 3 to 5 second delay before any coffee pours out. Heavy droplets will appear and develop into a thick, straight and even pour. The color will be dark and chocolatey. The pour should be cut off before the color lightens and the pour begins to curl in. There are three main factors to controlling the extraction. Firstly, the grind. Secondly, the dose. And thirdly, the tamp. Let's have a look at these three elements. Even if you have developed a consistent dosing and tamping technique, extraction will be controlled by adjusting the grind settings. The dry grounds should look like caster sugar. Fine, yet granular. Use the filter basket as a guide. The grounds should be slightly larger than the perforations that you can see in the filter basket. If extraction is too rapid, this tells you that your grind needs to be finer. If the extraction is too slow, then the grind needs to be coarsened. 
Be sure to only make small adjustments, just one notch on the adjustment collar at a time. Always remove the grounds in the old setting before adjusting. And remember, temperature, humidity and the wearing of the burrs in the grinder can affect the accuracy of the grind setting. Adjustments need to be made to control the rate of extraction. Now let's look at the dose. The dose is the volume of grounds required in the basket of the portafilter to produce the espresso. Machine baskets have a reference line that the grounds, once tamped, should cover. There should be about one millimeter between the packed coffee and the shower foil. This allows the hot water to settle over the pack or puck, thereby drawing out all the flavor and allowing enough room for the grounds to swell. Too little coffee in the handle makes it too easy for the hot water to flow through. Hence, a lot of the good flavor in the grounds will not have been extracted. Too much coffee in the handle makes it too difficult for the water to flow. Without room for the water to settle over the pack, the water will penetrate unevenly and the good flavor will not be extracted properly. For the sake of freshness, every coffee maker needs to know how to grind to order. This means getting the right amount of ground coffee into the portafilter basket. Always ensure that you dose consistently. Remember to work between 7 and 9 grams for a single espresso and 14 to 18 grams for a double espresso. Now let's dose. Step 1. Clean and dry the portafilter basket with a dry cloth before starting. Step 2. Turn on the grinder. It's important to remember to heat your cups up beforehand, either by keeping them on the heat tray or by placing hot water in the cups while you grind, dose and tamp, and then throwing it out before you pull a shot. This way your guest's coffee will be hot and fresh. Step 3 is to place the portafilter handle with basket underneath the dosing chamber. Place the handle on the portafilter rest of the grinder and begin to dose coffee into the basket by pulling the dosing lever towards you. Step 4. Fill the portafilter basket with ground coffee. Remember there should be a mound or small hill of coffee in the basket. Step 5. Use a stir stick, the handle of a spoon or a clean finger to evenly spread the coffee in the basket. Be sure that when evening out the coffee to not be wasteful. Work cleverly and cleanly. Now let's look at tamping. Tamping is to apply firm pressure and even pressure on the dose using the metal implement called the tamper. After the dose has been done, we need to make the ground coffee into a puck or packed coffee. We do this by tamping. The compressed dose offers resistance to the highly pressurized water that is about to settle on it. Always be sure to tamp consistently using the same amount of pressure to tamp for every single shot. Let's go back to the process. Step 7. With the portafilter steadily resting on the tamp mat, lightly use the tamper to push the coffee grounds into the basket. Remember, the focus is on an even and steady amount of pressure. Step 8. Use the tamper again, this time pressing harder and with more force to compress the coffee. Step 9. Now we are ready to polish. Gently polish your ground coffee puck twice. Step 10. Wipe any excess grounds from the wings and the rim of the portafilter. Now we are ready for the exciting part that all the preparation has led up to. We are ready to pull a shot of espresso. Step 11 is to run hot water through the group head on the espresso machine to get rid of loose coffee grounds and to stabilize the water temperature. This is often referred to as dropping a shot. Step 12. Now you can turn off the group head. Step 13. Insert the portafilter and immediately start the group head. Do not let the portafilter sit in the group head as this will burn the coffee grounds. 
Rather, insert and immediately start. Step 14. Place the coffee cups under the portafilter. Once you have turned on the group head with the portafilter basket in place, you have a few critical seconds to get to step number 15. Step 15. Turn off the group head after 25 seconds. Step 16. There should be 30 milliliters of espresso in the coffee cup. 60 milliliters for a double shot, and remember the espresso should have a golden brown crema head on top of it. Only grind enough coffee for the espresso shot you are making. This keeps it as fresh as possible. Make sure the portafilter spouts are clean and free from grinds. Always wipe out the portafilter basket with a dry cloth after knocking out the previous espresso puck and before dosing a new shot. Always use the tamp mat when tamping. Make sure the tamper is always dry clean and free from grinds. Be careful to tamp consistently and evenly. Remember to always run the group head with water or drop a shot without the portafilter engaged before inserting the portafilter. When the portafilter is inserted, Start running the shot immediately. If the water does not begin right away, the coffee will burn. Remember to always heat up your guest's cup before you pull the espresso shot. When serving an espresso to a guest, always serve it with a glass of water. A single espresso is served in an espresso cup and a double espresso is served in a cappuccino cup. Good luck at serving the perfect espresso. Let's think about troubleshooting. There can always be the case that your espresso does not turn out exactly how you desired it to be. But by knowing how to identify the following problems, we can decipher the specific reasons and then the solutions in order to create the perfect espresso. The first step to creating great coffee is to make sure that your technique is consistent. Problem 1. The first problem could be that the espresso shot is running too slowly. Is it dripping or perhaps trickling into the cup? The reason we will look into here will be one of three previously discussed factors. Either the grind, the dose or the tamp. Let's look at the grind. The reason for this problem could be that the grind is too fine. You can fix this by making the grind more coarse on your grind settings, which means you need to turn the grinder clockwise or to the left. The second reason could be that too much coffee was dosed into the portafilter. This can be fixed by dosing less coffee into the portafilter and taking note of your consistencies. Stick to what works and do it the same every time. Thirdly, it could have something to do with the tamp. You may have tamped too hard. And this can be fixed by taking note of how much pressure should be applied. If this was the problem, you need to tamp with less pressure and note this as you can remain consistent for the next coffees that you make. Problem 2. A second problem could be that the espresso shot is running too quickly. Is it gushing or perhaps streaming into the cup? The reasons we will look into here will be of the same three factors, the grind, 
dose or tamp. Firstly, the grind. The grind may be too coarse, making it very easy for the water to be pushed through the coffee. You need to fix this by making the grind finer, which can be done by turning the grinder counterclockwise or to the right. Secondly, the dose could be the problem. The dose into the portafilter may have been too little coffee. This is easy to solve by noticing how much should be dosed in order to prevent this from happening again. Consistency is the key. Thirdly, perhaps your tamp was too soft and hence you will need to dose again and tamp with more pressure. Once you've got it right, note this and keep it consistent every single time. Most importantly, you need to keep your eyes open. The way that the coffee comes out of the espresso machine is always giving you clues as to potential problems. Once you notice a problem, diagnose it by trying to find out if it was a problem with the grind, the dose or the tamp and then adjust accordingly. Good luck.